marketing is the biggest driver to business results in the world. Sales is amazing and I love being a salesman, but sales is just bad marketing. Marketing is the most important thing in the world. I'm a purebred entrepreneur for real, for real, for real. Like, document. Every day, people complain about silly small things. Being upset about the most minute things. Complaining, jealous, envy, all based on insecurity. And then, and I say to a lot of those people that I'm close to, like, one day you're gonna have something to actually get upset about. Yesterday, a senseless act took the life of a friend of mine. And just made me think, like, on this morning walk talk, like, t- today may have some challenges. That's just a human life journey. But please put things in perspective. Save your anger and despair and unhappiness for the big things. Start practicing, whether it's meditation or positive positive people around you or extra something. Just practice how to let the mundane everyday things roll off your back. I saw somebody yesterday lose their fucking mind because somebody cut them said about dumb shit. Hey, yeah, crib on need some hair on. I've been feeling cool though. We've been need some neck on. The reason I want 15-year-olds to garage sale is first, I want more 15-year-olds to stand on their own two feet and buy things with their own money, not their parents' money, because that will lead to a lot of happiness. Number two, garage selling teaches a lot of things. It teaches work ethic, because if you're gonna get the good stuff, you gotta wake up at 6 a.m. It teaches marketing. If you want your stuff to sell on eBay, you're gonna have to know how to title it, and how to write the copy, and how to put a picture. And if you're gonna wanna make that transaction, you're gonna have to pack it, and go to the post office, and do all this stuff, and um, I'm a very big fan of garage sale flipping as a foundation of teaching retail jobs, where you deal with a lot of people, or garage sale jobs, where you're learning a lot of different skills. I haven't, I haven't yet, I haven't reviewed it, I'll, I'll find it on this flight. Okay. Yep. Yep. And back to why I want all of your two cents every day. You can text, call, um, is gotta analyze everything we've been doing and figure out what we're doing that's a good use of time and not a good use of time. That's our, that's our biggest problem slash opportunity, you know? I mean, this is what we do for a living. Like what I do for a living. For it to matter, you have to do it on social media organic and it has to pop. Back to everybody did a wine show after I did, but it didn't mean anything, cause, it, cause it's not the show, it's the content. And more importantly, what people want on text is very different than what they want on social or email. The platform that's distributing something is a very big variable into how somebody consumes it and what they do with it. Whoa.
woke up feeling no refresh. How are things? Adam Baldessari, Hi. SME. How's uh, Nadler and Wine Rep doing? <laughs> they're doing the well. Trust the <laughs> they are doing well. They're the looks, they're not the brain trust. Stephen is a handful. I'll give him that. Please welcome to the stage, Gary Vaynerchuk. I come here this afternoon as a very practical dude that's been doing this a long time. How many people here consume content on LinkedIn? Go into LinkedIn, they're active, raise your hand. All right, so this is way fucking better than I thought. So the far majority of this room understands at least from a personal human being standpoint that they're consuming information on LinkedIn which then renders all of you to completely follow what I'm saying, which is 98% of it is garbage. And it's garbage because almost every single person that creates LinkedIn content comes from the perspective of sales DNA. Often people are very passionate about putting in the work at their craft, but they don't want to put in the work on things that don't come easy or they don't understand. I'm incredibly aware that marketing is a very different skill set than a core craft that is sitting in this room. I also want to remind everybody that marketing is the biggest driver to business results in the world. That sales is amazing and I love being a salesman. But sales is just bad marketing. Marketing is the most important thing in the world. Thank you. How many people here have a TikTok? Raise your hand, like consume TikTok? Wow, less than I thought actually. So for the people in here, use hashtags of some of the words in your world and take a look. There's like a lot more how-to videos from this sector being done. There's some people making paper by getting clients from TikTok. That behind the scenes stuff is crazy. It's, It's very real. It's the same old game. I don't understand how so few hands went up. More people just keep making the same mistake. The same people that didn't get on, that didn't raise their hands to get on TikTok also didn't get on Facebook because they thought it was a kid thing. And everybody here knows, Facebook in 15 years went from college kids to grandmas. And so these things grow, like a restaurant, like a nightclub, they mature differently. And I'm just shocked at people's audacity to think their personal opinion is a good business strategy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Selfie? Oh yeah, <laughs> well, why would we not do a selfie? There we go. Awesome, thank you. There is no such thing as work-life balance. There's just your real life. So you know, it ebbs and flows. If somebody comes along and says, I have a million dollar piece of business for you. But you're gonna, you, and, but you're gonna have to grind for three weeks. You're gonna over communicate to your partner and be like, look, this changes a lot of things. But then on the other side of it, you're like, okay, maybe we take an extra t- weekend or, you know what I mean? You, you gotta get yeah, you just gotta live life. normal life. Cool. Instead of some weird ideology. It's, this is where school fucks up everybody. School makes people think there's actually some rule for work-life balance. Work-life balance is different for every individual partners on earth. Yeah. The end. Yeah. Awesome. Thank Cheers. you very much. Appreciate Cheers. that, Cheers. thank you. What ends up working for me is like, People want to fucking work for like nice killers, right? Like, yeah, I get that you want to work for a killer, but if that person's like degrading you, and like, right? Like, so, but listen, I'm also aware that it's not super easy to find like a fucking nice assassin. You know what I mean? Which is why like I keep trying to tell people, I'm like, a lot of these kids, they start actually being nice people and they think, to be fucking a trillionaire, they gotta be a dick. Right. Which is why I'm like so motivated to put out my content. I'm like, look, I'm gonna be fucking the number one guy and be the nicest guy, and so can you. So what the fuck are we doing here? And I think, you know, when you bring those guys up, like it was funny where my brain went. I'm like, that's what's happening. People fucking see, they're like, the fuck am I, you know, and then you know what happens. It gets into their head, and then one Thursday they get yelled at for some dumb shit, and they're like, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's life. That's the fucking game. Yeah.
Yeah. It's, it's a done deal. I love it. Out in Colorado, hit the lotto, got a cabin in the middle of the mountain. Shit, I feel like I'm the mayor now. I'm just leaving DC. Grateful, 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 grateful. Even in a rough patch, I'ma always make do. Even when I'm down bad, I'll be saying thank you. Even when I'm wow sad, I can never hate you now. Nah. Get up and I get it on the worst day. Self care, nigga, that's the first thing. Grind till you chillin' on a work day. And when you get it, I hope you are grateful, 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 yeah, yeah. Thank you for my Noah's Ark. That's word the blue, the deep blue sea can't fuck with me. Fun day back in the action, some office time in the early day. Quick helicopter ride to DC and back, gave a keynote. Caught up on a ton of work. I find myself very productive. About to go do a workout. And then going out for uh, a couple of more, uh, two or three more dinner meetings. So, in the grind. But Daily B, I love you. I love you all. See you next time.